Hi you guys! For this next video, um, it's going to be really kind of long. It's I think going to be 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not sure yet because I haven't finished editing it yet. But it's all about the endocarnegiologist appointment. And I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Please forgive me. Um, I don't have video footage of actually being in the appointment. I just have before the doctor entered because of privacy. I don't want to um, put her on the video etc etc so enjoy this slideshow while you just listen in to my appointment yeah i figured we could ask you most of those same things yeah so did your kidney doctor told you why he yeah he wanted did. me to see you why they say this but i don't think that's true like an insulinoma oh no that's not what he has okay so what did he say because that's what he said to me no i think he meant to say you're insulin resistant as you're pre-diabetic Okay. And you knew you were pre-diabetic, didn't you? Yeah, but I mean, I've had like a million diabetes tests, but nothing's coming back saying that I'm diabetic. You're not. Okay. You're not. I, okay. I don't think you are. I haven't seen anything okay. uh, done definitely. So if you would have had anything done, it would have been on here somewhere. And I did Point knock up a little bit. And although I read the notes, I want you to tell me the story. So, okay. So how did this whole thing got started that you're like on the fifth? specialist by now. I know, a million. <laughs> yeah. So okay. tell me a little bit about these okay. symptoms. Uh-huh. I might cry because I'm just like overwhelmed. I know. That's and it's okay. like, it's taken me a long time to get to you. Yeah. Like, but you've seen the cardiologist, the kidney doctor, the blood yeah. doctor. Yeah. So what is wrong? Tell me about <laughs> what symptoms are you having? So, um, on my 30th birthday, I remember it like it was yesterday. I was really, really, really weak. Okay. So it started eight years ago? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I I always, my whole life, I felt this weakness, like since I can remember being an adult. Well, explain what that means. Um, I've always would tell people, like, I have low blood sugar, but I have never been. Tell me what does it feel like. So shaky. Okay. Like, my legs feel like they get hot. It's, it's this weird sensation that I'll feel over my body. Okay. Like. Kind of like heat. So there are episodes not. that come and go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And, and so then if I would eat the sugar, I would feel better, but not really. Because fast forward to like three, when I turned 30. Yes. I thought all I need to do is just go to Chick-fil-A. So I got in my car to drive and I could hardly like had enough energy to drive. Um, then like fast forward or rewind or something to like two and a half years ago, then I had a tumor in my heart, which was a myxoma. Yes. And so I was just thinking that that had everything to do with that. Okay. And yes. so, because there, were, surgery there was that. lots of random stuff that was happening. I mean, they thought I had MS for yeah. a good portion of time. So all that happened. That, t- that gets done, and then I guess I'm still having the weakness, but now the weakness is like, almost like I'm going to pass out. Like, I can't function. Like, my legs don't want to work. My arms are so weak. Like, so heavy. Like, I'm just so drained. Um, so, are the episodes any worse than they were before? So, ap- it's, it's worse after. Yes. So, after, after, after heart, heart surgery. surgery. Yes. Everything has been worse. Oh. Um, so, these episodes started to happen, and I would just go to the emergency room. And what would they do? Because I was thinking it was my heart. Yes, of and course. And so they were just ruling it out, like, you're good to go. Tumor in your heart, that kind of makes yeah. sense. Yeah, so they were ruling it out, said, I'm good to go. And then they would always give me potassium pills. Yes. Never thought about it. And then the last time I was there, my husband's like, every time you go, they give you potassium pills. Why? And I was like, I don't know. So I started looking into it, and I was thinking that it must be my potassium that's causing me to be weak, but I don't even know what that means. Yes. So I tried to get my PCP one day when I was feeling weak to yes. run my lab, yes. but he was too busy. And so I ended up at the ER that night yes. and my potassium was low. So they oh, gave me more medicine. That's how you end up visiting with the kidney doctor. Yes, yes. So now I'm at the kidney doctor and so the kidney doctor was thinking that my kidneys were dumping. Yes. So he's ruled all that out. So they couldn't find anything, huh? No. And so he was like... I, he's like, the only other thing that this could happen is if you have like an insonoma, but I've had a million scans and there's, there's nothing on there. Mm-hmm. And so um, I did some research on my own. Yes. <laughs> and oh. Well, that's what happens when you have symptoms yeah. for this long. You so have to help yourself. What I, the little bit that I have found out was something along the lines like, 
I would eat a whole bunch of sugar, mm -hmm. and then my body would crash. Yeah. And so I would get this low blood sugar. So then it's like, try to eat again, but it wasn't happening. So mm -hmm. nothing that I can eat, and I must not be eating the right things, will cure it from going into like the, I can't move the symptoms. So I, when I had Todd just talk to him, I went and I got a blood sugar meter. Okay. Because I was like, I'm going to figure this out. Okay. And. So you have it with you? When it's, yeah. Um, but it's not like one of those special ones where it keeps the record. Let me just, oh, let me take a look at what you got. Um, so it got down to like 57. Yes. And so I was like, I, I Did that like, make you feel funny? Uh, did it make me feel funny? 57, did it make yeah, you feel Yeah, of course. Funny? Yeah, so. Yes. What happens is I will start to get these like brown spots in my eyes and I realize that's my first sign. Yes. The next sign is I'll get kind of shaky in my hands uh -huh. and then I'll feel that feeling all over me. Uh -huh. So, but now I know that as soon as it starts, as soon as I notice, I'll have to eat something, but I'm not eating the right things. It's not like instantly make me better. So I found out I could get glucose tabs. So what kind of things were you eating to make yourself feel better? I would anything that I could find in the house. Because you were feeling so terrible yes. that you're like, I'm just gonna eat yes. whatever. Yes. And I'm not hungry. Yes, I know. But I was thinking that and the sugar has yes. to, it's not a hunger pain, it's yeah. a I'm um, dropping. Yes. Pain. Yeah. So, so how many times let me take a look. How many times have you had to use a glucose tablet? Oh my goodness, I'm doing it every single day now. What? Yes. What time of so the day? So the like thing of it is is that my husband is um my husband is having clogged arteries. Okay. So he's changing his food to plant-based whole food. Okay. So we threw everything out of the house except for plants. Yo. Oh. Uh, and it. so as soon as I eat, like within two hours to three, yes. I am done. Really? Yes. And I'm not scanning anymore because I already know what I need to do. Yes. So I'll take two or three of the glucose tabs. Yes. And within 30 minutes, I feel like I can move again and function. And so I'm just like, does that mean I'm di diabetic? What does that mean? Gotcha. All right. That's, I'm glad you did a little bit of the homework because I would have had you do this but if you didn't have a meter today. Um, okay. So there's a couple of things. Okay. It could be as something as simple as, yes, you're insulin resistant and you do this that you read about mm -hmm. and it has to do with the amount of food that you're eating, not just the type of food that you're eating. So obviously going to Chica Filet or doing something super sweet or grabbing a piece of bread or candy at home would have made you go like this and then crash again two hours, three hours later and do it over and over and over again. It's mostly in the morning times that I have. So happens. you're waking up like No, this? no, no. So I, I haven't ate anything all day and that's not something that I normally do. I haven't ate anything all day and I have not crashed at all this whole entire day. But it's because I woke it's up and I really didn't. you're eating. Yeah, it's what I'm eating. Mm -hmm. I have to do fasting well, well, testing. Mm -hmm. I feel completely fine. Yes. And then when I eat, yes. and then I crash. Yes. So it's like. So mostly in the morning. Do you crash yeah. ever after lunch? Morning. So for breakfast, mm -hmm. I'll eat at like 6.30. And yes. then I'm 6.37 and I'm crashing at 9.30.10. Yes. Um, and then I, I pretty much eat, I guess, a big lunch or something. I don't know. But and then by the time again, I, no, I'm not really until the next, the next day. day. Yeah. So it's in the morning. Yeah, then. it's always after breakfast. And so now with this, it's like, but how much should I eat? A lot of fruit? Yeah, I think it's a lot of anything is not good. But okay. we may need a little bit of medication so we okay. can flatten that curve out. Okay. So you're not like, whoa, like this. Okay. All right. So, so it turns out that myxoma sometimes come with a weird set of other endocrine problems, mm -hmm. but not always. Um, I don't think that's what you got though. Mm -hmm. I think wouldn't it show up? Um, yeah, but sometimes this is like something that you care. It's genetic, so it makes some of correlated. I think it's called Carney syndrome. Let me look. That's it up. like the myxoma thing. It's one of those things. It's it's Carney, but myxoma plus. Okay. This is like the tricky questions on the test. <laughs> 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 so let me let me see if I can. And if not, I'm going to do a little bit more research. It's not blood sugar, though. Mm -hmm. um, and carny complex, yes. Yeah, that's what it's called. 
because there's some, I'm in a McSoma group with the people who have tumors all around the world. There's not very many of us. Yes, I know. There are a couple of them who have other stuff. Yeah. But the tumor will grow back. Endocrine overactivity. See, this is part of it too. Um, Yeah, this is part of the stuff. I need to go look back at this and see if there's anything related, but we still have to make your symptom better today. Okay, that would be so cool. I think we're really good, right? Yeah. At least better. But right? I don't want to take a whole bunch of meds if it's going to have reverse, you know, like bad symptoms and stuff Well, like plus and minuses though. You know what I mean? I don't want to over medicate yeah. you, but you're having these terrible things and I, you've been to the ER like so many times. Mm-hmm. If you have to take a pill a day and the kids get out of the hospital, you know, I think that's like a problem. Okay. You know what yeah. I mean? But I don't go to the hospital anymore because now I know what's going on. Yes, but you still feel like you're kind of dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you don't have to go to the hospital. Yeah. Anymore. So um, I also take a potassium pill a day. So will I that eventually they, stop? Probably. If okay. you want to come fix our problem, whenever you go back to the kidney doctor, they'll say, oh, you don't need a potassium anymore. Because potassium pill is like this yeah. much, too. This is why they didn't put you on a much bigger dose. Okay. Because you're still having these episodes. So yeah. as long as you have the episodes, you probably need to fill the potassium. Okay. Otherwise, the low blood sugar plus the low potassium are gonna feel make you feel mm-hmm. like jello every Worse. single time. Because then I'll have the heart palpitations and everything. Mm-hmm. So I think overall maybe the plan needs to be you need we need to work on losing weight. Okay. Okay. And we need to figure out what's gonna work mm-hmm. for you. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about lunch. What are you ready by the time you get lunch? So I can't really tell you lunch because I really haven't been following his plan, but it'll be like Jim John. Yeah, so eating out. Uh, yeah. So mm-hmm. a sub. Mm-hmm. How big a sub? I think the whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> well, I guess. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and then With a bag of chips. Yes. And sweet tea. Ah. And a cookie. Ah. Uh, Whoopsie daisy. I'm getting really hungry. No, that's okay. That's mm-hmm. what I need. This is how we get better. And then dinner, like, so with him. I'll have a bed of lettuce, and then I'll put rice, which is brown rice. Yes. Then I'll put like uh, roasted peppers, garlic, chickpeas, black beans. Yeah. So enough that he can be full. Yeah, for me too. I'm eating it too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Lots of peppers. Is there chicken? No, no, no meat. Not no meat. No, no meat. No meat whatsoever. Yeah. No meat. No oil. No salt. No sugar. No dairy. Who? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's. What he's doing. Oh, this is great for them, but I don't think he can eat like this. Okay. He's gonna be so hungry. But I wonder if this is bad for him for his like diabetes too. Well, it's not so much on the bed to eat. Mm. Maybe if he if he like he's not eating the sub. What is he having for lunch? So he'll just have so the the plan you have to eat six leafy greens throughout the day, a whole handful of them. Okay. So that's what he's doing like throughout the day. Like and lettuce yeah. and mm-hmm. kale. All day long. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. And he's feeling full like that? Yeah, he says he feels fine. Okay, good. He's having good yeah, poop yeah. and everything. Okay, good. Yeah, that's a lot of that fiber. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think maybe that'll help him. Maybe but he doesn't complain way. about me, about anything, like the I symptoms. Know. You know, he doesn't complain that he has symptoms. Not everybody gets the symptoms okay. like you do. Okay. Um, sometimes... He's already lost six pounds. Yeah, there you go. See? Mm-hmm. Man, and their metabolism. <laughs> Just push the right buttons and they just shrink. I made it a so little before more the simple. pandemic. I yeah. was walking 30 minutes every single day. I was doing the like 12 hour fasting thing yeah. and I lost 20 pounds. Yeah. And then the pandemic happened and I gained 20 pounds back. Yeah. So I'm back at this. I want to go back to losing the weight again, but I'm having that. It's the, the blood sugar thing is hard. Also, because the one thing to fix it is eating. Yeah. And that's the one thing you don't want to do, but if you don't, you yeah. feel terrible. Yeah. So. Because I'm not hungry whenever it happens. It's just like. Yeah. And I'm not a fruit eater, so I hate. I have fruit in the house, but I'm not. I don't like to go and eat an apple. I don't yeah, like to go. Think it, mm. So you're so. making an effort for it, though. <laughs> I just don't think that the whole banana and grapes together yeah, with I the just, cereal is really a good idea. So, but they have not, Ryan. The test to see if you are overproducing insulin. The problem is just is total insulin. Yes. And is that is there a different insulin test? There's a couple of different ones, and if they do it uh, with you fasting, you're gonna feel fine. Yeah. You have to do it when you've had your breakfast, and then you mm-hmm. have to run to the lab so we can catch you if you feel terrible. Yeah. Or the other option is remember that super juicy juice. Yeah, thing the three. Yes. I'm just. 
I, this is draining to me. I like know. when I go home without the answers, yeah. and I feel the way that I feel, I know. but it's not. The problem is. I feel some, sorry for my husband. Some patients' <laughs> problems are not like, oh, it's your thyroid, take a pill and be fine, or your blood pressure. Some patients have. You all, you apparently get all the ones that we can really nail it on the thing on the first visit, mm -hmm. and then we have to work our way down. Just like when you did not have enough, yeah, we have to give you this much workout and scan you and <laughs> find a heart tumor. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but the heart, the blood sugars were always lurking in the back. They were lurking in the back when you were pregnant in ten. They were lurking in the back through your MS birth up in 15, mm -hmm. and through the weight loss that went away, mm -hmm. and now it's kind of come back because 2020 just sucked. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you done all this reading? I mean, you're on a Carney Syndrome Facebook group. I mean, blood sugars, we should be able to fix it. I know, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a Mixoma group, but there are people in there who have that Carney, Carney. Mm -hmm. but I never put one and two together. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things that, again, we get asked in our exam when you're like, the very rare thing that, I don't know why they ask that stuff on the test. So those are the things that stuck in your mind. <laughs> Make sure that you don't okay, miss it when you are doing practice. That was with the endocarnesiologist. And <sighs> that was emotional. So, dun da 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 Pre-diabetes. Now, I've been in pre-diabetes for a long, long time, and I haven't been classified diabetic or diabetes, too. Um, so that's what she's leaning towards. Now, she said that the myxoma might be in the same family as insulinoma. Um, so she's going to learn more about it because it's a textbook thing. You had to learn it for your test. And it's not something that patients get. Um, so she's going to do some more research and then let me know. But for now, we're going to pretend or act like it is what it is. Uh, you're overweight and you need to lose weight, Gail. So do what you can do now. And then we'll cross the other bridges later. So no matter what, it all points to my weight. And so... Praise the Lord that it's nothing else and this can be changed by what I put in my mouth. So, I need to stick to the journey. Keep the weight off. Losing weight's easy, she said. It's keeping it off. That's the more hard part or harder part, whatever. So, And the kidney doctor says that uh, basically, he's going to follow me in two years now, so that's exciting, too. He says that it's just a normal cyst now, and it's not a complex cyst anymore. So how does that change? I don't know, but I'm going to take it as a blessing. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me and giving me another opportunity of living this life better, right? Choosing to do better instead of do, my, do worse by sugar, 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 because that's all I want to do is eat sugar. So... She's going to put me on medication, so I'm going to be on metformin, which I was on before when I was doing the weight loss clinic, so I'm going back onto that. Possibility of going back to a weight loss doctor um, if the insurance covers it. If not, then I can meet with a dietitian. And then it's just, you know, do the work. Everybody wants the magic pill, but you just have to do the work. And I'm talking to myself because... You know, just get up and do it. Just get up and move your body for 30 minutes every day. Just like I was doing before the dumb pan pandemic happened. So, back at it. Here we go. Don't stop. <laughs> because then you'll feel like me. And you'll be going to all these dumb specialists. And they're not dumb. They're geniuses. But it's horrible. I feel like I'm, like, every single dollar my husband makes goes to another doctor. And so I can't wait to get rich by not going to doctors anymore. So... Anyways, y'all, I will talk to y'all later. I am going to go pick up my sweet daughter. Hi! If you have made it this long watching this video, wow, that was a lot of information. So, leaving that appointment, and by the way, today is January 30th. When that video was taken, it was November 24th. So, I have decided that walking out, I was very overwhelmed. Um, I was also ashamed and embarrassed that 
the food that I was putting in my mouth was causing me to be this sick. So is it an insulinoma? We still don't know. And she's leaning towards no. It's prediabetes, uh, which I've had for so long that no doctor has ever addressed. And it's been almost three years that I've had the tumor removed and constantly feeling like I'm going to pass out. And I put my glasses on and everything so I would look just like myself in the car. Okay, so what happened after that was I decided not to get my prescription filled right away because I remember last time I had some GI issues with that medicine. So then the blood doctor specialist called and they said that my insulin total or whatever that number was, was really high. And he said that would not happen if I was having the diabetes, prediabetes stuff. So he said not to take the medicine. And he said I needed to find a different endocrinologist. So I, I'm just done. I'm absolutely fed up, done, sick of it all. So I spoke with Carlos and I asked him if it would be okay if I just quit going to doctors for a little while. So I'll keep my yearly heart doctor appointment. I'll keep my two year appointment for my kidneys, which I'm excited it's two years and not a year. Um, and I'm probably gonna have to see some type of doctor so I can continue to take my blood pressure medicine. But in the meantime, we have all switched to plant-based and that's what Carlos, you see my shadow, shadow that's what Carlos um, had been doing when I was in this appointment he started on November 1st and so I finally jumped on with him December I think around the 29th or 30th or so which would be officially one month today that I've been starting and I'm down 16 pounds you guys that's super exciting and um, I look forward to sharing more videos with you guys. I've recorded everything since we started way back at the end of October. And I just, you know, if you are feeling the same way that I'm feeling or we felt, that I just wanted to share this journey with you guys because it's possible to change without medicines. And I'm not a doctor. Don't take my advice. But if you're sick and fed up of going from specialist to specialist to doctor to doctor and really not getting much answers other than here's some more medicine, here's some more medicine. Um, I hope that our journey to becoming healthier through whole food plant-based will inspire you. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. I was just listening to the playback of the video. So I have audio problems because I record with my cell phone. All right, so um, I wanted to tell you guys that I have not struggled with blood sugar except for one time in the last 30 days of going 100% whole food plant-based. And that was probably because I didn't eat when I was supposed to eat. So you, you know, you have times or, well, I do because I'm a lot more sensitive to blood, blood sugar lows. So anyways, I hope that inspires you. Bye. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. If you are excited to go plant-based with me, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next couple videos. And I felt so skinny, I had to go take a photo shoot. So this is 16 pounds gone. Bye, see you soon.